Hey there. So, I just arrived in Hungary yesterday, coming from Austria. This is the medium-sized city of Gyur. I had also learned about the city of Sopron, and so that is the plan for today, is to get over to Sopron, which is about an hour away. The weather is looking very variable. Today is July 26th, currently 64 degrees Fahrenheit, that is 18 degrees Celsius, with a few raindrops coming down. So we'll see what happens, but uh, the train station is right over here, so I'm going to get over there. I have no idea if trains even go from here to Sopron, if the tracks go that way or not, but uh, otherwise a bus, of course. I'm also not certain where the bus station is relative to the train station, but I'm seeing various buses up there. Probably it is nearby, so point being, I have done no research as far as figuring out exactly uh, how to get there, but there's got to be a way, about an hour away, and uh, so let's do it. And in the process, I will show the prices of everything, show you how much it costs to travel in Hungary. So far, I would have to say they are like very average prices. This is my second time to Hungary. The last time was six years ago. I only went to Budapest, or Budapest, the capital, of course, of Hungary. And so I don't have a, a great handle on the country at all, especially the language, nothing. Hungarian is a very unique language with no similarities to the Romance languages of Italian, Spanish, French, Portuguese, Romanian, or to the Slavic languages either. It is uh, very different. English is spoken, it's kind of a bit random, it seems like. Certainly some do, some don't. We'll see how it goes today. There are the train tracks. And just realized this is the bus station, obviously. And I suspect that there are going to be more buses going more regularly to Sopron than train. So let's investigate here first. Not clear yet as far as city buses versus longer distance. So what does this say? And here we go. Already found one that goes to Sopron, but uh, not clear if that thing is actually moving anytime soon. So many buses. Time to get on this. Okay, here we have the uh, ticket office. So, she didn't help me at all, but uh, pointed in this direction and said something in Hungarian. So I have no idea what to do. Maybe she was saying pay on the bus, something like that. Sopran? 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 Ah, I see, okay. Train? No, no, okay, thank you. Okay, that is not a good sign. He seemed to say four or five. I think he said it in German, thinking that I might uh, speak German. Oh boy. Hello. Chopron? Somewhere. Okay, thank you. Maybe they're pointing to a timetable over here. Let's see. This might be a uh, failed mission. Okay, 
here we have it. Chopran. So I guess what everyone has been saying is it comes right here. And then here we have uh, information. As you're seeing, so far, nobody here is speaking English. I'm sure that many of the young people will, but uh, not the bus drivers. So, here we have Chopran Balf Cospoint and Chopran Atobush Alomash, whatever that means, but uh, it is about 1.15, so I might have just missed a bus. Maybe the next one is at 1.35, 7.072. There it says 7.072, so let's see if one comes here in about 15 minutes. In the meantime, I need to try to uh, get some cash. So they use the forint here in Hungary, which I only have a little bit of, but I have some euros on me, I have some US dollars, I have my debit card, so uh, while waiting, let's uh, find a way to get some local currency. All right, so I got 25,000 Hungarian forint from the ATM. No fee was charged. The current exchange rate is 345 forint to one US dollar. So 25,000 is $72 US. Now I just need a bus. Boom, here it is, Chopran. And it is happening. Prices are looking good. 1,860 forint. That is 4 euros 85 or 537 US dollars. So, five bucks in other words. Four. A one hour, six minute drive. We'll see how many stops it makes, so maybe an hour and a half or something. But figured it out at least. It was looking a little questionable there. So, I'm at the uh, train station, as you can see. 100 forint to use the restrooms there. 
That is about 30 cents. So the uh, bus ride ended up taking two hours instead of one or an hour and a half. And then I saw on the map as I was sitting on the bus there that there was a train station here in Chopron. So there you go. I guess railway station in Hungarian is Vasudalomas. Vasudalomas, maybe. Something like that. I'm sure that I'm getting it very wrong. But uh, anyways, made it to Chopron and then I stopped in there and bought a ticket for the train going back. So there is a direct trains to Gyur. It is about the same price, actually a little bit less than the bus, also around like five dollars. And there are quite a few of them going, so I'll just see how long I want to spend here in Chopron. I am getting hungry, so uh, we'll see the old town. I think that it will be fairly similar to Gyur, as I showed in my video from yesterday, but uh, should be very nice. And I'm sure that we can find some uh, tasty and warm Hungarian food on this chilly, windy day. The weather has been all over the place. It will get sunny and seem like it's gonna warm up and then more clouds roll in. So uh, some interesting summer weather here. Looks like the old town up ahead there. Seeing the classic Hungarian style buildings. It's turning into a windy day. Better than a crazy heat wave, at least. You can put more clothes on, you can't take more clothes off at a certain point. I just love these words, how totally unfamiliar they are. Yeah. Kevev Engadelio. Hatsukapu Hinteras Tor. Varkarulut, Grabenrund. Getting close to the main square. So we have a very local looking restaurant here. There it says strawberry cinnamon, sweet giant pancakes. Okay, there is some English there. So 345 equals one US dollar. So these are like a dollar fifty. I guess if that's for one pancake or close to two dollars. Giant pancakes. So it's like a uh, pancake place, I guess. Fried's grandmother's chicken for. $29.95, so that is a little less than $10. Cordon Bleu, $25.95. Seven, eight bucks, something like that. Very, very affordable, especially having come from further west. You can eat here for 10 to 20 bucks easily for food and a drink or two. That beats spending 40, 50, 60. And here we go. We're getting into the very historical stuff. That looks quite old. The city walls. So the main square, which I'm heading for now, was the site of the Roman Forum. 
So the Romans were here. And then after the fall of the Roman Empire, the uh, city was abandoned and centuries later was discovered and then the newer city built on the remains of the Roman city. Okay, so the bombs of the Second World War not only damaged the houses, but it is thanks to them that the city wall reappeared behind the ruined houses. Interesting. Archaeological investigations prove that the lines and the foundation of the middle wall of the triple ring wall of the Roman city wall come from the 4th century. The triple ring of walls was built no later than 1330. So, you have the various layers of... Uh, history here, making use of what was there before and building new walls and restoring, etc. Those are very odd looking. It's hard to tell if that's like intentional or I guess so because they're staggered. Every other one is out like that. So what is the purpose of that? Bizarre. And a very nice pedestrian zone here with various restaurants, ice cream, CBD shop. Really nice city. I think that I like it more than Gyur. They're both nice, but uh, Sopran actually feels a little more happening in a way, even though it is smaller than Gyur. That is quite a tower. And then more of the old ruins here. Fire Tower. Love Locks. So is that what that is? A fire tower, huh? To look out for fires in the top. I can see a clock as well. Cool, we can go underneath the fire tower. <laughs> and those winds are really picking up might want to find somewhere to sit inside. A nice cozy inn type of a restaurant. Sounds good. Really nice square here. So it looks like this might be Latin. Seventeen oh one. Okay, and people are going inside the cathedral there. Thank 
Take off the hat. Can you have the good time? Classic old door. Thank you. Yep. computer so I can get to work here. This looks good. Demon beer, oh yeah. That is some serious flavor. So I'm back at the train station. That clock is correct, 5.35. There's a train at 5.45 that I wanted to catch, so had to kind of wrap things up there quickly and run back. There we go. 5.45, Gyur. 3A. Vagani. Guess that means platform. So this train trip is 1,680 Hungarian forint. That is 375 pounds, 641 Canadian dollars, 485 US, 438 euros. Thank <laughs> you. 